Hey everybody, what's going on? Today we are trying to recreate one of my older pictures as a lesson on how much improvement you can do in a short period of time and how the gear you're using really doesn't make much of a difference because we are going to try and replicate this picture with the exact same gear. There will be no gear change from the first picture to the one we take today, and I bet that the second one is going to look a lot better just because of improvements in fundamental photography skills. So we're gonna be going to Niagara Falls to try and replicate this night picture. Um, this is one I really liked at the time, but looking back at it now, I feel like there are a lot of flaws for us to address. So I like the concept of photo photographing this street at night. We've got some nice lines, we've got some nice colors. One issue I have with it is that there's no real payoff at the end, but there are also some camera settings, things that I would like to change and m improve the image quality by lowering the ISO, having a slower shutter speed, things like that. So we're going to try and get a much better picture using the exact same gear, and let's see how it goes. Alright, so we are now in Niagara Falls. We had to wait until nighttime. It's pretty dark here, but one key difference is that last time when I took this picture, it was like four in the morning, and now it's like 6.30 p.m. because it does get dark here quite early. We wanted to get here as it was dark, but before everybody left the streets so that we could try and get some more interesting behavior on that street picture itself instead of just an empty street. So timing is definitely one big part of this. So the second difference is I do have a tripod with me this time. And the tripod is going to be very important for this type of picture because we want to be able to slow down that shutter speed considerably. So last time we had an aperture of 4 and I think a shutter speed of like 120. This time we're probably going to want to do a multiple second exposure and then to get that you really need to have a tripod with you. So one thing I've definitely learned in the time since I started doing this is that night pictures, tripod is absolutely essential. I didn't want to carry it around because it's cold, but I, I just, you just need it. You absolutely need it. All right, we're here at the same spot where we took the original picture. Weather conditions are a little different today. And some of the decorations from Christmas season are gone. But we're gonna try and make this a little bit better with the addition of a tripod and lower shutter speed. So let's see what we can get. So we're back at home and we've got some raw files that we want to do some editing with. I think that for the photo I'm trying to get, I want to do a combination of these two right here. So I was really trying to get something in the moment where we would have a car going up the hill while a car was going down the hill, but that didn't end up happening in any of the pictures I took and I was up there for about half an hour getting different images at slightly different angles, slightly different settings, and just none of them really ended up working out. So I think that these two are really good to match together because we have the lighting on Niagara Falls the same color here. They were taken pretty close to each other. And what I'm going to try and do is uh, blend these together. We're going to use this left one as our base and we're just gonna try and take this right lane from the second picture and um, mask out the lane on the left, have this 
overlaid on top of it. So once we put it into Photoshop to edit these raw files, we end up with something a little bit like this. I really wanted to take down that color temperature a little bit to get more of a blue tone in here to keep that wintry feel. Uh, it was kind of lost with the red from the falls and the uh, the yellow from these lights, so we wanted to have a little bit cooler of a color temperature. Then we also did some, a bit of fixing to the exposure, uh, boosted the contrast, all that type of stuff, just to make it look a little bit better, in my opinion. So this is basically what we were doing with the exposure and the uh, basic settings of each of the RAW files. And once we mask them together, we end up getting this. Now I'm not completely happy with this. I feel like the um, the masking on this second, this right lane isn't quite as good as it could be. It's a little fuzzy around the edges. And part of that is because the tripod wasn't in the exact same position. Um, so I think I did some like very small adjustments on leveling things out. So it didn't match up perfectly. I had to move it around a little bit and eyeball it. So it isn't a perfect mask, but I think it turned out pretty well. It doesn't look obviously fake in my opinion. And it achieved that goal of making this picture look quite a bit better than the original. So if we do a side by side, here is our new picture and our original. And I would say that this new one does look quite a bit better. The lower shutter speed allowed us to bring the ISO down to 100 instead of 10,000. So if we do a little bit of pixel peeping, you can see that this is very much, uh, like it is quite a bit grainier on our old picture compared to the newer one. So that ended up being quite a bit better. The other thing is because of the longer exposure and the better uh, light balance, then we actually get to see the uh, American side of the falls in the background, whereas that's completely lost in our first picture. So I think this ended up being quite a good upgrade. And this is all just, like I said, down to personal skill, controlling the camera and getting a lot better image out of it. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you had as much fun watching this video as I did making it. I think this is a really cool activity, so I encourage you to go out and try to recreate some of your old pictures, see if you can make something better now. So if you've recreated some pictures of your own, send me a link to those either on Instagram or Twitter or YouTube or wherever, because I would like to see them, see the improvements you've made. I'll see you around. Happy shooting.